Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today we're going over to Brazil and we're going to be doing for you beef stroganoff. I hope you're all going to enjoy this one. We're going to show you the ingredients what we're going to be using for today. Right, so these are our ingredients. This is the beef what we're going to be using. We've got it chopped up into cubes and we've washed it and everything. So that's the beef. Got some Dijon mustard. We've got some Worcester sauce. We've got some double cream. We've got some tomato ketchup. We've got some chopped tomatoes. got salt and pepper we've got some sweet paprika got some flour got our mushrooms which we've already washed we've got some butter and we've got our chopped onions and then we've got our duchy on the fire and we've got a tablespoon of olive oil in there so we're going to show you the process right so we've got some heat underneath our duchy which is a medium to high and we've got our olive oil in there ready and we're going to add our butter to that Make sure you get all the butter. Just circle that round the outside. So we're just going to get that butter melted off. Once that's melted off, you're going to add your onions to it. So that's our onions and our olive oil. Just going to put those down a bit so we've got a bit of colour to them. And meanwhile, I'm going to turn back around the camera. We've got our salt and pepper. Let's get the camera a bit more focused up. So you can see what's going on. We've got our salt and our pepper. Just mixing them in. I'm just going to put our raw meat. I'm going to mix that in a bit. Might need to add some more salt, salt afterwards, but we'll just put that on them out. And then to that going to be adding your paprika you might think this is a lot of paprika so you're going to give that a good mix in as well adding your flour to that as well you want to make sure that this has a very good coating of everything on there
you wanted to you could do this with your hand but I'm just doing it with a thing so I don't mess up my hands so once you've got that mixing and everything coated proper you can just put this to one side for now back to our onions what I'm going to do I'm going to move this to a faster heat so now you've got some heats in the take too long everything should come along quicker just wobbles around a bit This recipe was a request from a few of our subscribers and a lot of you are asking where's our tip jar we don't we don't know what YouTube does with that on that side so I can't really comment because a lot of you saying that you would like to help the channel help us to purchase ingredients or whatever for our videos but We, we can't really do nothing until when we see that come up on our YouTube. Which we're open is, is soon as well. Because we know the ingredients are getting very expensive. And thanks to all those subscribers that reach out and say that they would like to help the channel. A lot of you saying it, if we can do more child friendly videos please remember to watch our fortnightly Wednesday videos they're shop brought products products what you can find on the shelf in the shops and you know you can buy them you only need to add a few ingredients to them and put them in the oven or, what, or do whatever it says on a packet so that's what our Wednesday, Wednesday videos are aimed at. It's mostly for content what you can do along with your children as well. So watch those. those. We do put our rating. That's, that rating what we put is only our, our opinion of what we think of the product. And the products ain't sponsored by any of the companies or anything. We just go to the shop, see random things, what we can afford at the time, and we buy it, and we show you what's in the box, how much content, if we think there should be adding more, or, or whatever is in the box, we'll show you us opening the box, opening up the packets or whatever, adding the ingredients, what needs to go with it, and then the time what they put on it we go for the highest time what they say to make sure because if we go for the shortest time and it's not done then everyone's going to say oh we never cooked it for long enough so if it says 10 to 20 minutes then we'll go for the 20 minutes so please Remember to share and subscribe and tell a friend to tell another friend. Leave your comments in the comment section. We do try and answer them. But like how a lot's coming in now, we might not be able to get to all of them at once, but 
if you just see a love art or whatever, that means that we've responded to you. We won't have time to write out comments for all of it back to anybody. So bear that in mind. Right, so we've just got our onions sweating up. But when they get a bit more brown, we're going to take them out and then go to the next stage. Right, so we've got our onions now. And we've browned those off to where we want them. So we're going to take those out. You want them brown down more than this so you can brown them down more than this. You just want to be taking them all out. Then we're going to be adding another tablespoon of our olive oil then we're going to be adding our beef to that Brown these off as well. So, when those are brown off, then we'll come back to you. Right everybody, so we've got our beef to where we want it and we're going to take these out now. So we're we'll putting in our mushrooms. And hopefully they should spring a little bit of water. Glazed, uh, the glazed the bottom of it. sweat down our mushrooms and then we'll be back with you. Right everybody, we've got our mushrooms sweated down to where we want them. So we're going to add back our onions to that. Gonna stir those in. Get 
If any of you think I'm doing this recipe wrong, when we when I when we do we just do our version of of what we, of the recipe. So it could resemble another recipe or it could not. So don't worry too much about that. So to that now. We're going to add back our beef. I'm going to give it a stir in. If I can steady these as you can see that's looking nice already even without the other ingredients in it right we're going to start to add our other ingredients to it now We're going to add our ketchup. We're going to add our Worcester sauce. We're going to add our Dijon mustard. to add our chopped tomatoes. And we've got our cream and that goes in right at the end. I'm just getting this butter off of this spoon. Gonna give that a good stir in now. Some people put the brandy in here and then Flambe it, but we're not going to do that because my lot don't drink had the alcohol and they're a bit allergic to it, so I'm not going to be doing that version. So that's it, we're giving it a good stir, make sure everything's mixed in. This is the stage where you're going to taste it now. Make sure it doesn't need anything else. If it needs any more salt or pepper. Then just rinse this off. So we're going to leave this now, let it cook, go on cooking, just going to cover it and when it's to where we want it we'll come back to you. Right everybody so we've got it cooked down to where we want it now, 
can see it's nice and thick. We're going to add our cream to that. Just going to get a spoon and just scrape out the rest of this. So that's our cream gone in. I'm going to get that a stir in. See everything looking nice now, and we've got that strong enough colour look now. You can see. So what I'm going to do now? I'm going to plate this up. I'm going to show you what it looks like on a plate. Right, everybody. So that's what it looks like on a plate. Got our, got it with some vegetable rice, and our beef is on the side. So I hope you all enjoyed this one, if you did, remember to like, share and subscribe and tell a friend to tell another friend. Please leave comments in the comment section if there's anything what you want to see us do. And thanks for watching and we'll see you all on the next one.